Hello YouTube, WJ's Handy Dad here, and today we're going to put a strip tint across the top of the front windshield to help block the sun. Those of you that have Crown Vicks know that right about there, when it's about an hour before sunset, the sun just comes right in and blinds you and there doesn't seem to be any way to block it window shades or anything like that don't seem to help. Now you've seen before I put a uh, Kydex little box kind of in this area that came across to about here and that certainly worked however when I put in the fancier backup and dash cameras it didn't fit anymore and rather than building a new one I thought I'd try a different option here. So if you're looking for a professional tinner stop watching now and go find one. I am not a professional tinner. I'm just a DIY dad in his garage like all my other videos and uh, so I figure things out as I go sometimes. But basically I've started by cutting a strip of tent. It's about four and a half inches from top to bottom and I originally cut it 55 inches across and then I've trimmed it on the outside of the windshield here to basically follow the shape. Now I'm going to caution you, it's probably not going to come out perfect. You can take a heat gun and try to shrink it a little bit and try to make it fit before you start if you want. Uh, it's like 110 degrees in here right now so I'm hoping that that is shrinking it as we go. You see I've got it taped on here. I just did that to uh, hold it while I was cutting it. And the other thing, keep in mind when it's on the outside of the windshield like it is right now, this is going to be slightly bigger than when it's actually inside. So we're actually going to have extra that we're going to need to cut off once we put it in there. But this is a good start here. And there is my world famous hat. Panzer platform and I wear hats like this. Um, I don't know if he's bald, but I am. <laughs> and I like the fact that this keeps the sun off the of top of my ears and neck. But this one right there is actually from my honeymoon 2004, so it is an old hat, but it still works great. As far as installation tools, you just need some soapy water. Uh, seems to be best made with like a lemon dish soap and distilled water. Don't skimp on using the distilled water. Go ahead and get the distilled because you don't want any minerals left when you squeegee it out. Then you need a very sharp knife, preferably the kind where you can break off the tip and get a, a new blade each time because you, you need it sharp when you're cutting and the least bit of dull it'll pull the tent rather than cut it and then you need a rubber squeegee of some kind to smooth and typically you want to work from the center out and basically what you do is you wet the glass and the tent with this both sides of the tent the sticky side and the uh, side that you're squeegeeing and then you lay that soapy watered tint onto the soapy watered glass and then spread out the wrinkles. It's much easier for a beginner to do small pieces of tint at a time rather than one big one. For example, doing a rear window is really more of an expert job. Doing something like this is probably intermediate because it is so long, so it's about 53 inches across uh, with the final cut on it. And so that requires a little more skill uh, versus like doing a small window where you can hold the whole piece of tent and work it with your hands. Um, this is gonna require a lot more of a coordination and everything to get it done. So I would say beginner tent, small window, intermediate something like this and advanced being like a rear window of course every car is different so you may find a car where the rear window is one of the easier ones to do i know the dodge charger <laughs> i've tried to do the rear window several times and i screw it up every time so 
that one's really difficult. So I ran the heat gun over it and I do recommend doing that. You see it did conform to the glass much more than it was. So basically just turn your heat gun on and keep it moving. Don't leave it in one spot or you might burn up your tent or whatever, but just keep it moving and you'll see it kind of starts to grab the glass as you're doing it. The other thing that's very important is that you get the tent oriented the correct way. So right now, facing upward is the part that we're going to peel off to expose the adhesive underneath. The bottom side is the tent. So if I were to separate these, this piece would come off clear and leave the tent there. And the reason we want that is because when we transfer this to the inside of the window, we want the glue to stick to the glass. Hopefully that goes without saying, but just in case anybody was not really understanding that, this is really important. If you cut this with the adhesive side down, it's going to be backwards in your car. Unless you have a perfectly symmetrical shape like this, it probably doesn't make that big of a difference. But I have verified that, that one way to do it is take two pieces of tape, stick one on each side, and peel, and it'll usually peel up and you can see one side will be clear and one side will be tint. Inside windshield prep, straightforward, cleaned it with glass cleaner several times, made sure there was nothing stuck on there, and then gave it a real good wipe down with the 99% isopropyl alcohol. It dries fast. I use those lint-free microfiber specific for glass towels. They'll do a great job. So we are ready. Like I said, the process is going to be straightforward. We're going to spray this on the glass. We're going to start to separate this, spray this on the adhesive side. Then once we lay it into the glass, we'll spray the tent side of it as well to help smooth everything. The big question you got to decide, and I can't answer for you, it's going to be a personal thing. Do you peel all of the backing off before you start or do you get in the car and start to work it a little bit at a time it's really going to be personal preference when you're dealing with a really long piece of tint like this it may or may not be easier to leave the backing on there and just work it as you're going across um, because the problem is if you completely peel the backing off and then go to stick this if you bump into anything along the way you may ruin your tent and like I said, we're talking about a piece of tent that you have to hold both ends with your arms wide apart and you're trying to get in the vehicle. It's, it's not going to be the easiest job in the world, but once you get it up there, it should be fairly straightforward. The other thing you see, I have towels all over the dash and that's just to catch when I'm spraying the soapy water. It's going to be dripping all over the place and rather than having to clean up later. I'm just going to let the towels catch it.
Pro could do a better job, but less than 10 bucks a roll at Walmart. You get two and a half feet by six and a half feet or something like that. This is the 5% limo black. You can get different strengths. I think they sell 20, 35% as well. I found this is also a good spot to put a piece of tent. I can't say 100% that this is totally legal or illegal because it's at the top of the side window. It's not blocking, you can see through the bottom window. Um, but this level of tent would obviously be illegal, at least in my state, to have it on the whole window. But what I find is this top area, it's kind of like up here. When it's sunset or sunrise, you get that glare there and this takes that away, makes it actually safer to drive in my opinion. So this was put on the same as that, just put it on the outside of the glass, cut around the shape, clean the inside glass, and then put the uh, soapy water solution on, spread it on. This actually goes on real quick and easy because it's such a small piece, it's real easy to handle.